program uh, or on TV. Well, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines. Oh, uh, yeah, start and breathe and continue to breathe. I didn't stop breathing. If you were concerned about me and how much I'm breathing, the answer is a whole lot. How much you've been breathing recently? Just a little, oh, just a little bit. It's like, uh oh, that doesn't sound like enough. You need. Uh, I don't need to tell you this, because if you haven't figured this one out already, uh, you wouldn't be doing too well. I don't think you would have, you know, enough maybe enough brain function to understand what I'm saying. But you gotta breathe all the time, like a lot. You gotta breathe a lot. Maybe you're starting to get tired of breathing. You're like, I think I'm tired of breathing. That's a bad sign. And you're sick and dying. You're about to die. Uh, <sighs> breathing is important to do all the time, even when you're sleeping. How come you don't get tired? Maybe you're very exercised. If if you walk for a good hour or so, you start to get tired and can't walk anymore. If you Push, do push-ups. I would get tired after a couple of seconds. After like three, maybe. Maybe less. But if you breathe, you're breathing for a oh, good 60, 70 years. That's how long you can breathe when you're breathing. And it's good to breathe sometimes. There it goes. The timer didn't go. I set the timer and it wasn't even moving. Now it's moving. Click clock timer. Uh, it's Wednesday today. It's uh, the middle of the week is the 20th. It's five days to Christmas. You ever seen those uh, advertisements you've been advertised at where they tell you they're like this is how many days you have to go buy? It's like this said today is the day that you buy things. Have you bought enough things yet? Because if you haven't, well, you better get buying because you only have five days to buy. Bye bye. Um, you know that in sync song? Not what you think it was about. They're they're trying to brainwash teenagers. They're like, they're like, are you saying goodbye to me? That's how it's spelled, but they're not. They're, not, they're just like trying to get to uh, teenagers to be materialists. And I think it doesn't take very much. Maybe most of them, they already are materialists, just naturally. They're going after things. They're too kind of like a uh, rodent, a rodent who holds on to things, if you know what I mean. Um, I want to buy more and more, but so do I, so that's not very, like, nice to say it that way. Maybe even, me even more than teenagers, I want to go bye, bye, bye. Uh, uh, yeah, that was something that we were going to do. We had a commercial tape, uh, that was an idea. that we ended up throwing out a while ago about that commercial tape where we would uh, put the commercials on there and then it'd be like, here's this commercial to, to uh, for money and then like run this and then they'd say, bye, bye, buy it. Uh, and then you would buy things and we'd be, become materialists together, one of them. What that uh, the other other materialism? <laughs> Throw out everything, go live in the uh, woods with uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm. Gonna, I don't need nothing. I'm gonna have uh, be naked. 
living in a hole. Uh, I'm just gonna use dirt as my blanket. I guess that's pretty much like I'm gonna live like a corpse, is what I'm saying. But I'm gonna be uh, alive. So if you're like living the corpse life and you can get out, maybe you'll stay warm and all that dirt will be your blanket and you don't need a regular blanket. And then, if you do die in your sleep, well, you're already ready. You don't even need a funeral. That's like, oh, well, didn't dig himself out of his grave today. Most days, dig yourself out of your own grave, go to work, get inside the cubicle. Complete form B. And then you, you take off your tie and pants and, and go back into the woods. Go find your soft spot where you bury yourself every night. And you get your tube, your breathing tube, but you have, a, you have the breathing tube tied up to a tree. I hope, I hope no bears mess with my breathing tube. This is what I need to breathe with. This tube and you... You put the tube, it's connected to like a, a mask or something, or like a snorkel. I think probably maybe goggles, yeah, a snorkel. And then you get in your breathing hole, and then you cover yourself up with your dirt, and, you're, and it acts as a blanket, and you're helping composting. Worms are composting things around you as you live. You're part of nature, you're part of nature again, and you don't have belongings. I don't know how you get into work where you keep your tie and stuff. Is keep your tie at the edge of the woods where you don't need your clothes, and then you go out to the edge of the woods. And you put on your clothes, and you go to the cubicle, and then you do the same thing every day. And you got some kind of dirt removal system. Maybe go to the gym first. Like after you get out, get out of your hole, dig yourself out of your own uh, sleeping grave. And they, you're, like, you're like, oh, here's my grave. And they say, that's kind of sick. You sleep in a grave? And they say, I think that's fine. Why, why is it so bad? And why aren't you calling it at least a bed? Some kind of bed. And it's like, it's obviously a grave. If it's obviously a grave, why would I call it anything else other than the grave? But it's my happy grave. I'm only happy when I'm in the grave. And then you can go and I dug myself in there, and then you can dig yourself out. And so I'm just relaxing. I'm just relaxing in this grave. Uh, the you get get out of the grave, go to the gym, and covered in dirt, covering your genitals. You're going to the to the to the uh, to the gym. Take a shower. Oh boy, the gym people. They're not really stoked on you because they don't. The drains are full of dirt all the time, and they're like, well, "Who is so dirty that they clog the drains with literal dirt?" This looks like somebody just crawled out of a grave. So you crawl out of your grave, go to the gym, wash off a little bit before you do your exercises then you run a couple of miles on the treadmill without water moving you just running running in place like you're going somewhere but you're just exercising I guess the what you're doing you're watching good morning uh, uh, you're watching the program probably right 2 a.m. this is uh, you're looking up at a weird hour but you're watching the program on YouTube uh, run it is that what you're doing right now, grave person? They just got out of the grave, so now they're they're running on the treadmill in in place over there, getting their burn on, getting your burn on. Maybe you do some machines, some of those uh, benching machines or whatever it's called, pulling, rowing, uh, swimming, maybe a little bit, and then you go and you you know you got to shower again, and then that's after two. You first you shower here showering off the dirt of the grave and the second shower is like the regular person shower 
the non-grave dwellers, the people who don't sleep in the grave. And then they, those people, they get to, like, just live or other life. They don't know about grave life. They don't know the the simplicity, the the, the beauty of simplicity in grave life. Uh, they, they they're not jealous. But if they if they could see, like your inner peace, they would be jealous, grave dweller. I know you have so much inner peace, but they they don't they don't understand the inner peace thing. They want things, satin sheets to lie on. And then uh, like you sleep in a grave, that's for the dead. And you say, that's what you think. I'm okay with I I'm I'm the same as the dead. You're just you're living in an illusion, and then <laughs> I'm not living in an illusion. And it's like that sounds like something somebody living in an illusion would say. So they're living in their illusion of uh, uh you know of non-grave dwelling, and I am too. I'm not like I'm not living in the grave. I think anybody who's not just like living in the grave, they're living in the in illusion. It's like. So what? It, so what are you? There's two kinds of people. You know, some people say like there's two kinds of people: Beatles or Stones, or uh, uh, Elvis or uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Sinatra. Beatles or Stones? Elvis or Sinatra? What are you? How about you? Which camp do you? Are you a grave or an illusion? There. Uh, it's like Beatles is to uh, Stones as graves are to illusions. That's my, uh, uh, I forgot what you call this thing, so, but look at the comparison. So you get to choose which one are you, an illusion or a grave, and there's only those two choices. Nobody else is, like, uh, living outside. If you're not living in a grave, you're living in a, in a lie. really I guess comes down to everybody's living a lie I, I don't believe that there's people actually living in the grave not yet I'll be the first and I'll tell you how it is afterwards yeah, no, probably not I'm too I'm pretty far into the illusion people have lived close to the grave though so they're maybe not living in an illusion necessarily either but they could just move take the next step and go into the grave Lots of people live in the woods. Lots of people live in the woods around here. If you walk around, you'll see some camps. But the camps are kind of a semblance of of the illusion anyway. They're like trying to pretend that they're not outside, like almost living in a grave there. They're like trying to lean towards living a normal life with their structures and their tents. Their, their walls, their cloth walls and their blankets, they're trying to pretend like they have hard walls all I want is a wall of wood a wood wall, but all I have is these cloth walls they don't do anything but they, all, all, all they really, it's basically like you're sleeping outside um, maybe protect you from the wind or something, but like they're you're just trying to like uh keep from like being outside and you're like I'm not outside I'm inside here inside this tent it's like yeah that's outside that still counts as outside you just you know, you know the illusion thing you're just living in uh, illusion get inside get out get back outside get real outside and then you get all dewy when you wake up I don't know those people on the streets out here. Is there dew? In the city? City dew? I've never experienced it, I think. I, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's... I think there might have been a time when I've like, experienced dew and forgotten about it. Is there? It's possible. City dew. I don't remember the last time I experienced dew at all. You gotta be awake pretty early. Do experience do there's no morning do that's kind of a weird name though they got mountain dew mountain mellow they they went with the mellow part 
that or the Mountain part. That's the like when they the off brand sodas, the Mountain Dew off brand sodas. They stuck with the Mountain part and not the Dew part. Like Morning Dew with Mountain Dew, but they have like because they have like Mountain Mountain Breeze and uh, Mountain Mellow. I liked Mountain Mellow, but they don't sell it anymore. Unless they brought it back. I don't know if they brought it back out at, uh, uh, what used to be at Albertsons. It used to be the brand of Albertsons, but I think they, they dumped that brand now, so I think Mountain Mellow is gone forever. Never have it back, and that was, that was my favorite, though. But they had it. Who thought it was my favorite name? It's a good name. Maybe, it, maybe if it's gone, I should take it back again. I know I was using the name for something before. But I'm gonna take it back. You should use it again. The mountain, the mountain mellow name. This is like it's like a mountain calmness. It's like a, it's like a double thing. It's like how can you be a mountain of calmness? I'm so calm right now. Mountainously calm. Mountainously huge. Mountainously. It's like double, uh, like Andrew's there. We got some uh, voicemails. Looks like a uh, Luke. Luke, you left us a voicemail from four o'clock. See what he's gonna say. This is Luke, uh, just um, just another new telephone that I got. Oh, congratulations! Uh, so, um, yeah, you're the first uh, call I ever made on this new phone. Have a nice day. Oh, you too. <laughs> and my mom is yelling, ooh, 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 <laughs> because as she observes me doing this, she appears to find it exciting. So um, that's cool. All right, thanks later. Bye. Your mom? Are you in San Francisco, Luke? I don't know what I did with the book. I lost the book. I gotta like, tie the book to the wall or some, something. How am I gonna keep the, uh, the, uh, the lovers? <sighs> Here's a pen. And I gotta find Luke. Okay. Luke. I gotta find a uh, missed call so that I can call him back. Oh, I'm right here. No, it's this one. Like this. I found his number. On an older message. Six five zero area code, Luke, huh? Here we go, I'm gonna call him. Say Luke. This is a program. Six five zero. Ring a ding ding, Luke. Message for 
Luke, it's the program. Uh, the robot lady asked me to leave a message and she said, please. And I am obliging. Is that what you call this? I oblige. Will you? Yes, I, I oblige. And, uh, and I'm calling you. Are you in San Francisco, Luke, for the holidays? Or is your mother visiting you, maybe? Is your mother up here? You can take her on the program. I bet you're down there, though. That's what you usually do. Uh, does she ever come up here to where you live? Probably a better trip to go to San Francisco. Uh, nice place to visit. I don't know if I want to li want to live there. And you live there. Your mom lives there. You can go visit there. Lots of people live there, though. Hundreds. All right, Luke calls back. You have about uh, 35 minutes today. Okay, thank you. All right, that was Luke. Um, I'm gonna try to call. I want to try to call Alex. I want to try to call Yellowfellow. This is Alex. I think. Yeah. Alex is not going to answer them. We'll call, try to call Yellow Fellow. And, uh, and then Freddie, the producer. Oh, I don't think I'll hit the tapes after that. Hi, this is Alex, and I would love for you to leave me a Did you love it, Alex? Uh, this is Yellow Fellow. Next. to an automatic voice message system. Six one zero nine zero six. Is not available. Not available. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Yellow fellow, hi, it's the program. How are you? We've been trying to call you for a while, but we've been playing phone tag. It's been maybe a month. A month or months since we talked to you last. What's happening in Philly? You, you celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah? Are you guys, are you Jewish? Calls back. You have about 33 minutes. I don't know. Are you Jewish? Uh, Kwanzaa. Ramadan. We had a Ramadan celebration. Uh, calls back. Okay, bye. Oh, we're making the rounds. Here's Freddie, the producer, next. Hello. You've reached Freddy Dobor. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dobor. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You're doing a great job. I just wanted to say, leave you, a, you know, a nice message. Anybody ever left you on uh, a mean message and then you didn't call them back afterwards? I don't. Uh, they're just saying the nice thing. They're gonna leave one or not, like, or maybe if you've gotten a call from a, a like a, a a loan shark or an enemy. Or, 
like somebody was mad maybe to make it a, a, a guilted friend guilted friend and like, you're ah, ah. <laughs> that's what mad mad people do they call ah you're going to those a mean one a not happy like a nice what's mean message so, yeah, yeah, you know, you're real dirt today. Ah, that's not nice. That's not what nice is. How's the production then going, Freddy? Are we gonna make it over the holidays and it's down week? Are we making it through down week? You can call us back. You have about 30 minutes to call us back today if you make it. Uh, I want to know. All right, thank you. Inquiring. Minds want to know. Well, that's it. That's the messages. That's the phone stuff. Uh, if you want to get on the show, you can call the number up there. It's 360 836 4384. And you call that number and you uh, get on TV. Alex called us. Oh, called it like in the morning. So, oh, she wants. To, she doesn't see out in the morning. That was yesterday. Hi, program. It's Alex. I need to know the best breakfast place downtown again. Um, uh, me and my friend are going there on Saturday, and McDonald's. I don't really know what the best places are. So, call me back and tell me. If it's in Olympia. Hi. Probably, I'm gonna say Josh's restaurant. Um, best yeah. restaurant. <laughs> what is it? What message? So, Derek told you to ask me what you No, but then I thought better. I thought worse. Uh, what, Mr. Gensu? What a crazy message. What are you talking about yesterday? This is yesterday. What were we talking about yesterday? Sometimes you live too much and you get sick. And then you die. Oh no, is that what I said to the yesterday? I don't think my grave's death. What's going on? I think it's the holiday. So look out, relax a little bit. Take it easy. I'm trying. Corners, corners and strokes, right around the corner. It could happen to you today. So just because it's real doesn't mean that you have to die. Doesn't it though? You know, yeah, realness, realness doesn't mean you have to die. It doesn't mean that. Some people think it's like, well, don't. Doesn't that mean that I have to die? What is this today? I would say to that. No, you don't have I to. You can live. You can still live. Some more things yesterday. No, I'm not a hero. Yeah, you are. But you can still live. I'm... You're a hero. I'm no doctor, but it looks like this. You're sick. And I could help you. I'm no doctor, but I know how to do surgery. And by the look on your face, you need some invasive surgery, and I'm the one to do it. So let's take, you know, lie down, take this, sniff s gas, some, some gasoline. Sniff some. Lie down, sniff some gasoline. Let me get, get, cut you. With surgery, I know how to do surgery. I'm going to remove. That's uh, your anesthetic? Appendix. Gasoline? Like, I'm tired. I'm a little tired. I know how to do surgery. Good thing. Good thing you're a little tired. Oh, it sounds like somebody needs sur necessary surgery. 
By me. Yeah, please. Yeah. Don't let anybody do surgery on you unless they're a trained professional. Are you though? I don't need surgery. Have you ever checked anybody's credentials? No. I've never checked anybody's credentials. It's I been a check. while since I've seen a, 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 a medical place, but... How long? Even at uh, maybe a food place. What, do you go to the food place? So they say... Oh yeah, this is a good Could story. I help you? Yeah, I'm here. I would like some food, please. And they're like, oh, okay. And they go back, and they're a person from the street, and then they're crazy. They're crazy. And they keep food in their shirt. They, put the, they take, the, take the food out of their shirt and put it on their plate. That's not where food goes. You know, after you, you know, crazy this, person. This food tastes great. Oh, compliments to the chef. And then, and then they go, oh, no, 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 no. and then they run away. <laughs> oh, uh, no. take off, they take off their shirt. Make turkey noises. So all this food flies everywhere. Out of their, out from the inside of their shirt, they're crazy. And onto the walls and crazy things, people. and you look down and you look at the food on your plate and you look at the thing, and you're like, this place has been closed for years. You, everything's dusty. Everything in the restaurant's dusty, covered in sheets except for the table you're sitting at. And you're like, what, what is this place? That person was not. It's ghost. It's a ghost land past. Uh, here's the this thing. This is. Oh, oh, the, oh look at 2016. What did I do with this tape? I just had it. Is it this? Yeah. Okay. It's last year. We only have another week. Is this going to end? Then? Yeah. I think it might. We better tell Freddy about that. We don't have much time. Oh. It's kind of dark out. 20th is today. That the whole time we talked to Yellowfellow. Yellowfellow says he got in a car and broke his leg. I think he's fooling around though. Put your fool in. I got it, 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 I got Hey, it's the commercial. Hey, commercial. It's kind of dark out. Oh, Yellow oh, fellow. Hey. 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 There. Uh, which one? Hey, it's fake. Fake. Or some other voice. What is mortar? Is it made of cement? Yellow fellow. What is mortar? Pokemon. Pokemon. Is it, is it, Yellow is it, fella, what are you talking okay, about? Oh. Poke Pokemon, yellow fella? Why are you talking about poke? Pokemon. I'm gonna switch these. I want this one to be my regular voice. Alright. Uh, this is my. my uh, uh, this is my regular voice over here. And this is Carl! Fake Carl over here. Hey, I'm back. I'm fake Carl. I think it needs a new name. It's this other person. I'm other person. I'm a regular person. I'm a regular person. I'm other person. Hey, how are you doing today? Regular? I'm doing just fine. I forgot all about you until I made this tape. It's a good thing that you said something on that tape so that you could, uh, you know, bring come back to life. Oh, I know. I've been living in a grave. You know what it's like to live in a grave? It feels great. You've been living in a grave? You've been in the one living in the grave? Yeah, of course I live in a grave. Where do you live? Some kind of illusion? Yes, I still live in an illusion. I'm glad I found you. I was talking about this whole grave thing, all like this whole like in the beginning of the show. We can take a look at it in the, uh, in the, on the tape I recorded it, on the replay. Yeah, you're doing the replay now, huh? Well, yes, I live in a grave, and when I get out of the grave, I dust myself off, and then I go to the gym. The people at the gym they don't like me very much because I leave dirt in the shower. 
and they have to clean it out of the drain sometimes. I think that they should get a better drain instead of uh, the, the being just being mad, just pour corrosives down the drain instead of cleaning out the drain and getting a better uh, the better drainage system. They should be able to handle some dirt. It's just dirt. I don't know about that other person. I think that you shouldn't be putting dirt down the drains. Ah. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's take a... Oh, we look at the replay. Or at least... um. Yeah, let's take a... Uh, let's look at this. Look what we just did. Oh, yeah, we can see this uh, whole thing. We can get a third, third voice going down the drain instead of cleaning out the drain and getting a better uh, the better drainage system. They should be able to handle some dirt. It's just dirt. Whoa. Uh, that was weird, wasn't it? Okay. This is what this was supposed to be. Low voice. Low voice. Low voice. Hey, I'm low voice. 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 Yeah, low voice is going to be the third voice when we look at this tape up here. I'm going to. Look at the replay a little bit. Do the three, do the three voice, and get low voice, high voice. I'm high voice. I'm low voice. Oh, I'm regular voice. I'm low voice. Can't get high voice to to chime in. We could with some effort, but I'm not gonna go through with that effort. Low voice. Low voice is not the one we're gonna stick with. You're. An alternative third low voice. Oh. oh no, I got a regular player only when there's a third. That's right, low voice. I don't know about that other person. All right, well we're gonna see when we when we pull it out when we stop talking into the other mic. That's when we're gonna get a uh, high voice and then low voice. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to talk to you, regular voice and high voice. That's right, low voice. We start talking on the thing, uh oh. I'm the being that regular. Oh, regular voice, what's well, okay? Oh, uh, this one, the being that regular voice. The so real voice. Uh, uh, this is my, my, uh, this is my regular voice. Yeah. Over here. Uh huh. And this is Carl! Fake Carl, no, over here. High voice. Back. I'm fake Carl. No, you're high voice. I think it needs a new name. It's just other person. Yes. I'm other person. I'm a regular person. I'm a regular person. I'm other person. I'm third person. How are you doing today? Really good. I'm doing just fine. I forgot all about you until I made this tape. It's a good thing that you said something on that tape so that you could, uh, you know, bring come back to life. Oh, I know. I've been living in a grave. You know what it's like to live in a grave? It feels great. I live you in, been a grave living in a grave. You've been in the one living in the grave? Yeah, of course I live in a grave. Where do you live? Some kind of illusion? Yes, I still live, live in an illusion. That's too bad. I'm glad I found you. I was talking about this whole grave thing. All, like, this whole, like, in the beginning of the show. We can take a look at it in the, in the, on the tape I recorded it. Grave life. That's what we're doing right now. You're doing the replay now, huh? Yes. Well, yes, I live in a grave, right and when I get out of the grave, I dust myself off, and then I go to the gym. The people at the gym, they don't like me very much because I leave dirt in the shower, and That's they not right. clean it out of the drain sometimes. I think that they should get a better drain instead of uh, the, the being just being mad. I would agree with that. Corrosives down the drain instead of cleaning out the drain and getting a better uh, 
the drainage. Better drainage. Drainage. Better so drainage. They should be able to handle some dirt. Still mm, dirt. Yeah. I don't know about that other person. I know. I, I know about that it. You shouldn't be putting dirt down the drains. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take a. Oh, we look at the replay. Yeah. Or we're doing right now. Yeah. I don't like low voice. Hi. Oh, here it's Hi Voice again. And we're looking at that tape over there. Oh, the replay is done. We we'll look at some of the replay from whatever the next tape. Of my own, somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat, you could say. I made it yeah. myself. What'd you make? I can't what it is, cause... Ha <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hitcher's got mysteries! Come find it. Yeah. Of course! Yeah, there. Huh? Why do you got... Why do you got so many mysteries, Mr. Ginsu? Mr. Ease. You know what I'm saying? No, really. No, really. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either, Mr. Gensu. Nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody knows. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
<laughs> I remember when you were, uh, oh, uh oh, maybe losing a grip, losing your grip. I don't think this is losing my grip at all. This is a gorilla grip. Um, hold, keep your grip. Okay, this goes down here. Oh, I got it. That's why. There's a tape in there already. This tape comes out. This was yesterday's tape. And then we put this one and record the new message, which we haven't done. So, look at this. Hey, future, it's us, the past. You got anything to say to the past, high voice? I got so many things to say. Like, I'm still here, and I live in a grave. High voice lives in a grave. Yeah, I remember we were losing your grip a little bit with the high voice thing. This is my own grip. Goodbye, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, bye. It's Wednesday, and I'm the Mr. Rogue High Voice. Uh, okay, we're gonna move up the. Uh, uh, we're gonna move. We're gonna move up the tape now. We're gonna check out some of these messages from the past. How many of them do we got? A couple, a week's worth. At least months since April. On this tape. We've got a couple of weeks though. Maybe we'll look back to, let's say, uh, Scott in the antithesis of cool. That was on Friday. Today's a Wednesday, so maybe the Wednesday before that. We'll look at the. So. High voice lives in a grave. Yeah, I remember we were losing your grip a little bit with the high voice thing. So this was today, and then we'll go back. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Friday. Thursday, Wednesday, so two days before the, the, uh, uh, um, uh, what's it called thing? Scott, Anderson, Erickson. So there was one Friday, I think it's going to be two weeks about, yeah, because it's one on Thursday, so. Thursday, then Wednesday. I'm just keep moving back until we get there. You know, it must have been Tuesday. Monday. Here's a Sunday, I believe. Oh, Sunday with uh, Fred. Oh, Saturday, I guess Friday. Okay, this is the Friday I was talking about. And then the day before this is going to be Thursday. And then the day before this is going to be another Wednesday. Here's this Wednesday. That was, this is the one. This is the one we're going to see. Hey, dead spider. How's the dead spider? Oh, there's a bird, too. This is the day before. Past. Hey, future. Good luck. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, oh, good. Thanks, bird. And Always hoping. Hope you learn from all your mistakes. And hope, I hope, I hope. Them. Hope. Be happy. Bye. I hope, I hope. Hey, future. It's us, the past. We're over here. It's Wednesday. Uh, we're in outside of time season right now until uh, winter 2018. Uh huh. Yeah. Bye. Bye. dope. See you TV tomorrow. Uh, hey, future. It's us, the past. Hey, past. What do you have to say to the future? I have to say to the future. That I know you still suck. No. Oh. Ah. It's okay. You didn't know any better. Oh. <laughs> Bye, future. Bye. Things on the screen now. It is go. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Remember this when we had the band here and a crowd. Band in a crowd, more There's people crowd. than normal. Uh, what do you have to say to the future, Scott? Um, you're looking kind of bleak. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks, Future. Bye. Bye. Hey, Future. It's us, the past. Hey, We're past. on this other uh, tape. I'm going to move it back. Good what job. are you doing over there? Uh, it's Saturday. Saturday. We're back here at the studio. Thank uh -huh. you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Hey, future, it's us, the past. Oh, hey, past. We're still on this alternative tape until we get back flipped around. We had a good week when we did the TCTV thing one week, but then we had the second week where we fell into the trap of TCTV again. Hey, future, it's us, the past. We're on the regular tape again. We made it. We moved it back, and we're fixing the tape stuff from the first Friday TCTV thing, or second Friday. Did we lose TCTV. a day? How did those other things work out? Yeah. Oh, watered the plant today. Go, don't forget to water the plant. Uh, I did that this week already, right? Bye. Bye. Water the plant on, on Sundays. Sundays. On Sundays. Bye. It's the past. The dead spider's still there. Remember when we were going back and forth between TCTV and the studio? Yeah. It's not as cold as it was last year. I don't even have the heater on yet. Yeah, me neither. Uh, dead spider is still up there, but for how long? We've been doing the replay thing. And I like I'm talking replay. about like, getting scar scars as tattoos. Blue collar. Okay. Bye, it's um, Monday. Bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey. It's Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. And it's happening. Remember, we're looking at some tapes. I'm trying to set the replay tape up again. We failed to do it today. Uh, hey, future, it's us. Where am I? The past. Oh, hey, past. And uh, so somebody's going to come in the door. Oh, you got anything to say to the past? Toyota? Or... Or to the future, I mean. Say something to the future. <laughs> Do better. Uh, if don't forget to wind your watch. <laughs> All right. Bye, future. Bye. Bye. Future, it's us. The past. Oh, hey, past. It's Friday, and we've made it back. Good. Remember this time of life? Yeah. Each day is a new day, and mm. living. New day. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey, past. Uh, Do you have anything to say to the future? We're eating you. I'll say to the future, get back here. Come on back, future. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, take it easy, future. Yeah, I want to say, say um, you're having a good time. Yeah, uh, you are. I am, Woo! yeah. Bye. It's us, the past. Oh, hey, past. Mr. Gintu's on the phone not saying anything. What are you saying not saying, Mr. Gintu? Come on. All right, Mr. Gintu? Yeah. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> All right, bye, future. Bye. Hey. It's Sunday. What are you doing? The past. Look what we're doing. This. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, got, three, like got three of oh, uh, yeah, me and yeah, Johnny yeah. at the same time. And we're talking about the train to Freddy. Uh, and it's... Uh, Monday. Oh no! Oh, that train. Bye. Bye. Yeah, well, I'm gonna rewind great. this one. I gotta get a fourth. Oh, that was crazy. Hey, future, it's us, the past. We're over here. Where? And I'm doing this one again. Yeah. It's four. Sunday. It's gonna be four. The past. There's gonna be four. This. Hey, yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Got three. Got three of uh, me. We got four. At the same time. Four. Ran to Freddy, and it's uh Monday. Monday. Whoa. Oh, that train. Bye. 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 Oh, that was crazy. Hey, hey, future. It's us. The past. Where are you? We're over here. Where? And uh, it's uh, Tuesday. Remember the train was yesterday. Today, Bird told us a little bit about that train. Alex called us. Uh, what's the best restaurant in downtown? Say I'll call McDonald's. Call us back. Three six zero three six three four. You're the message of the future, not a phone message. Yeah. Hey, future. Hey. It's us. The past. Hey, past. Anything to say to the past? No. Hi, voice. I got so many things to say. Like I'm still here and I live in a grave. High voice lives in a grave. Yeah, I remember we were losing your grip a little bit with the high voice thing. This is my own grip. Goodbye. It's Bye. Wednesday. Oh, that was today. 
Wednesday, bye. Wednesday. Yeah, that's that was the that's it. You know, we only have a few minutes left today. Tuesday. Saturday. TV mountain tape. Some music. Look at all this all these tapes and, and things that we're doing. I don't know, did we ever pick out a new Mr. Catherine tape or were we looking at like a uh, the uh, 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 <laughs> uh, oh, the 60s, that's what it was. The 60s. Crazy song. Um, well, we made it through another day. It's, uh, it, oh, yeah, where's the dead spider? Maybe we should take a look, too. I want to I wanna find the dead spider. It's, uh, then we, we made it. It's a good thing today. Oh, what the? Really? I, th I don't think it's actually done. I knocked, I hit it, and then. So we still have a few minutes left. So I gotta find the dead spider. So what we do is zoom out, find the dead spider, and then zoom back into it. There it is. How you doing? It's been a few days. Almost. Okay, focus, focus, recenter, and then, uh, I don't know, zoom, zoom, that's, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom out, zoom in. Now, focus, dead spider, oh, nope, having a hard time. Focus. Yeah, you can get closer than that. I've seen it. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good view. Well, Dead Spider, you're still there. And I think the timer thing did go, I guess. So it's the end. We made it. We're live. Thanks for watching. It's uh, Wednesday. We're on TCTV channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check that out, YDHWM.com, yeah. 360-836-4384, call and leave a message, get on TV. One nine State Avenue, number three, yeah. Graham Graham, it's a good song, thank you. DC TV, LaBay, Bay, Jordi, Fabulous, Graham, Graham, South Dakota, Condon, Wilson, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.